Hey guys, welcome to the Overnight Journey vlog number two. I've decided that's what I'm going to call this video journal series uh, leading up to the overnight walk in San Francisco on May 21st. So first and foremost, I want to thank those of you that donated today. I received four donations today, so I want to thank Adrian, Catherine, Donnie and Shelly, and Susie. Thank you guys so much for your donations. You're really, really amazing. And uh, so far with all of the donations that I've received, I've raised $419 for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And so we are at 21% of our goal. Uh, the goal that I've set is $2,000. And I definitely love to exceed that. Um, but I just first wanted to thank those of you guys that have donated so far and for everybody else that donated I mentioned you on the first video. So, you know, all of you guys that have donated uh, shared the video shared uh, Facebook posts that I've been putting up anything that you've done to help raise awareness for mental health and help me on this journey to fight suicide or really really appreciate it um, so today at work I uh, was talking about this this uh, fundraising endeavor that I am on, and uh, it was kind of interesting. Somebody had uh, a different viewpoint on uh, suicide prevention, and uh, they kind of felt like, you know, once somebody makes a decision to take their life, there's not really anything that you can do about it. And you know, I can definitely understand where this person's coming from because you know I've kind of thought the same thing. It's to me, it's kind of like addiction. You, you can't make somebody change or quit something. Uh, they have to want it themselves. Um, but it got me thinking, and I, you know, I was looking at some statistics. I've really kind of been reading up on stuff, and um, it made me think of something. So actually, over 800,000 people a year commit suicide. And uh, the, for people that are ages 15 to 29, it's actually the second leading cause of death. Uh, Caitlin, my sister who committed suicide in uh, on November 28th, 2012, um, she was 23 when she committed suicide. And so it just got me thinking that, I mean, you know, when you're that age, there's a lot going on. I remember being that age and I mean, you just feel like everything you do is just such a big decision. And I think everybody kind of goes through a low point uh, as you're just kind of trying to figure yourself out. You're coming into, you know, adulthood. You're learning about yourself. You're figuring out who you are. There's just so much going on at that time. And I know for me personally, I just kind of had to get through it. And once I got through it, uh, things were a lot better and so I think you know it's pretty amazing to think about suicide being the second leading cause of death uh, for 15 to 29 year olds to me those those uh, people in those age ranges don't really know who they are yet they don't really uh, you know you're still developing you don't really have all of the uh, capacity to deal with everything that life throws at you so you know I, I it just kind of made me think you know about it and uh, just kind of instilled that much more in me uh, the desire to do what I'm doing here and, and help the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention uh, because I, I believe that you know yes once somebody makes a decision there's not really a whole lot you can do to change that but for me suicide prevention is not necessarily doing something after somebody's made that decision it's doing things well before that to help them from getting to that point or to, or to keep them from getting to that point so um, just something interesting to think about something that um, I thought about today and, and for that person you know who you are I love you to death and I, I definitely respect your opinions um, but it just made me think about that. So that's something that, that's really amazing about what I'm doing too is, uh, it, or I find it amazing is that, um, you know, people don't really talk about this. So it's really exciting for me to see a dialogue happening and, uh, being able to engage people in conversations at work. And, you know, I'm sure I'll, I'll be talking with other people at other times about suicide prevention and mental health awareness. So, um, again, thank you to everybody that's donated. Um, you can find more information about what I'm doing in the link uh, either above if you're watching this on Facebook or below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, thank you guys for uh, everything that you've done to support me and if you, if you would please share the video um, so we can continue to get the word out. 
Um, and by the way, for all of you that are donating, I'm just saying your first names. I know some people are kind of weird about, uh, you know, sharing your last name and stuff online. So um, not trying to uh, be too vague. Definitely want to give you guys a uh, thank you. Um, but again, thank you everybody for your support. Have a good night. And if it snows, be careful out there. Please let it snow. I need some time off work. And just to clarify for anybody that's watching that I work with, if I'm able to make it to work tomorrow, I will be there. When I said let it snow, I meant like, let's get a blizzard. I want to be snowed in. I need some sleep.